Hi guys, today's video is going to be all about blazers, specifically lightweight blazers, the ones that you can easily find in any Ukai Ukai store. In Ukai Ukais, you're usually going to find one rack that's just full of jackets and blazers and other long sleeved shirts. And personally, I find it very easy to find these sorts of things. And for very cheap, um, I think the cheapest blazer I got was 15. Um, some are 25 pesos, some go up to 200, but I sort of cap right there um, if it's anything over 300. That's gonna be very rare for me to buy anything that's that, that amount in the ukai ukai. So I'm just going to be showing you five blazers from my collection and I tried to pick different kinds of blazers in terms of prints and colors and I'm also going to try and show you how I would wear them perhaps um, in a casual setting, maybe for something more formal or I don't know, maybe for dinner. Um, there's really no set of rules I follow when it comes to wearing blazers just because they provide a little structure to anything that you're already wearing underneath. I'm going to start with this blazer which you may have seen in my 20 plus ways to wear a printed blouse video. Um, I'll leave the link below so you can watch that. And this one I remember getting for 200 pesos in an ukai ukai in Makati. And anytime it's something over 150, I'm always thinking twice and um, I'm usually on the fence about it. Um, but what sold this blazer to me um, were the pretty silver buttons. They have anchors on them. It's lined um, with like a burgundy fabric inside. And then I like how it slopes gently down here and the shoulder pads aren't too big. Um, it fits me just right. It, it looks like it was kind of measured to fit me. And what I like wearing this blazer with are band shirts. I have quite a few band shirts and I find that this always makes them look cool, <laughs> for lack of a, a better word. Um, my favorite way to wear this blazer is with slightly ripped jeans or jeans that have a darker wash and I wear boots and I can also wear maybe white sneakers um, with anything I'm wearing under this. It's a lovely fabric and I think it's one of my most worn blazers just because of the color and how low it falls on my body. It's raining really loud outside, if you can hear that, so I'm gonna try to speak a little louder. Um, this blazer, believe it or not, we found in a swap meet in California and there are usually piles um, just on the floor of um, whatever parking area the swap meet is located and this was in a rather big pile and the guy manning the booth said that we could get 10 pieces for $10 so that's around 500 pesos um, so my sister and my mom and I um, had already grabbed 10 pieces and then we found a few more bits like um, a scarf and I think uh, a mini skirt and one other thing and the guy gave um, those three items to us for free so essentially we got 13 items for $10 and this was included in what we found it's it was kind of dirty um, because people tend to step on the pile and dig so I mean of course the clothes didn't get dirty um, but I think it was the inner fabric of uh, the inner lining that I spotted first um, and then uh, when I pulled it out, I saw that it was a blazer. It's just a tiny bit big um, on my body, but I like the colors. Um, it's a pale yellow, there's a pale blue, there's teal, there's tan, and there's cream. So again, lots of colors that I already have in my wardrobe. And just because it's a checkered print doesn't mean that you have to wear it with just plain colored things. The, my first thought was to maybe wear this with a cream turtleneck or maybe something like blue or dark blue. 
So I just went that route and actually wore this t-shirt. Um, it's a dark blue that can also be found on the checks. It is printed, um, but I think that's what makes this look kind of fun. I also wore it with these um, denim shorts that I pulled out from our bowl. Um, I, I've had these since I was in grade school. Um, and I just wore my chucks just to kind of round off that very casual vibe this is giving. I can't remember how much this blazer was anymore, um, but it's one of my softer blazers. It's really lightweight. It's, I think, the only blazer I'm showing that's... Oh no, this is unlined too. Um, so this is an unlined blazer, so it's very spring-like. Um, not just because of the fabric, but also because of the pattern. If you can see, there are roses, just pale gray and silver wisps that form roses. And the base of it is a kind of burnt orange that's also metallic. Um, there are also like metallic cream and gold um, specks on it. And it makes it a really cool to the eye blazer. Um, I've worn this with something silver, something cream, and uh, the look I'm showing you at the moment is just a loose, flowy, cool and warm tone look. Um, cool because the top is very silvery and, and light, and then the pants really echo the base of the jacket, which is a burnt orange. To keep this look fresh and spring-like, I went for flat brown sandals and also a bag that I found in Evangelista. Um, one of those roadside um, stalls just had a basket that was full of bags and shoes. Sadly, the shoes were really too small for me, but um, I found this bag. It was kind of dusty and a little battered, um, but I, I took some um, cleaning solution and made it look quite new again. I really like how flowy and light this outfit looks. It's something I would wear when the weather's a little bit more sunny than today. I just switched blazers quickly so you can see the shape of the blazer I was wearing earlier. And this one is also another oversized blazer on me. It falls down mid-thigh, which is the length I like for lightweight blazers. There's no lining. And although you might still feel warm while wearing this, it's not as constricting as a blazer with lining. And I like how big the pockets are. Actually, all of the blazers I showed you um, today have big pockets, and that's always something I look for. Um, it's kind of annoying when you think there are pockets and then they're just flaps. So I really prefer um, my oversized blazers to have big pockets. And I like that the lapel goes all the way down. Um, probably it goes down lower than my belly button. So it really draws the eye down. It's a very slimming jacket. It, it makes your silhouette look really long no matter what you're wearing. I like folding the sleeves. I think it's also because most of these blazers are oversized and I think rolling up the sleeves or folding them helps balance the shape. And I've worn this blazer with just a t-shirt and jeans. I also like wearing it with um, big hats um, for this look. I first went with a white um, button-down shirt with matching dark red pants and my mom's um, crossbody bag and sharp, polished, um, pointy loafers. I think that's a cute, casual look. And then perhaps if you're going out in the evening and we're having a nicer dinner, um, what you could do is perhaps remove the white underneath and then just take a nice white belt and wear it over the blazer, so essentially uh, cinching you at the waist. And then just change your shoes into something a little more strappy, such as the sandals I'm wearing, because the belt is already very thick and I just wanted to, again, balance that out with the thinner sandals. And I think that makes quite a sleek look. 
Finally, we have this very colorful blazer. The print reminds me so much of the 90s. It's almost a, an ethnic or a tribal print that has shades of dark teal and um, dark orange and dark purple with a black base. The sleeves are actually three-fourths and I like the vents. They're just fake vents um, in front and they go all the way to the back. So I didn't actually see that detail until I brought it home and was very pleased to find that. Um, the pockets are big also. And the fabric is, again, a non-wrinkling material, which is always a plus. The yellow check jacket I was wearing earlier needed ironing and I just wasn't able to iron. That's why it looks kind of um, sad, but you should always iron your blazers just to make them more presentable. Going back to this blazer, it is lined with a burnt orange um, silk fabric. And the length um, hits me mid-thigh once again, which is my preferred length for lightweight blazers. For today, I am just wearing it over a black shirt dress. It's a very old shirt dress, maybe four or five years old already. And I don't really wear black anymore, so I just remembered that a while ago and decided to pull it out of, to match this blazer. And I wore my teal boots. My teal boots actually have a mock crocodile print on them, but they're not really noticeable at first glance. They look good with these um, teal splashes of color on the blazer. And I like how it looks over the black dress. I think you could also wear it with a white shirt dress and of course um, any, any top or dress that has the same colors as the print on the blazer. But I think I like the black a lot. It, it's very striking and it makes you look a little sophisticated even though the print of the blazer is all over the place. You could of course wear this with the black pants, but this look I imagined more for the evening where you can just wear it like a mini skirt and have your bare legs out. So those were all the blazers for today. I have quite a couple more, but maybe I'm just going to use those in future videos. I'm always on the lookout for ways to wear these affordable pieces of clothing. And anytime I find something new, I'm gonna try to show you. See you in my next video and thanks again for watching.